Let's solve this mystery once and for all. I'm showing you exactly how you can get 300 DPI in your Canva creation. First things first, shout out and thank you to Tabitha who saved my bacon and showed me exactly how to do this because I have been using third-party sites and hacking around this for years. This is way better. Let's say you've just finished a design in Canva and you wanna export it at 300 DPI and the dimensions don't really matter. All you're gonna do is go click the share button in the upper right hand corner, click download, and you're gonna take the size slider and move it all the way to the right and click download. You're gonna save it to the folder that you wanna keep it in. And every single time you do that with a slider at the far right, you're gonna get a 300 DPI PNG. Here's how you can double check. We're gonna to go to the folder that we saved it to and you can right click on the image, go down to properties, click properties, then go over to details and it will tell you the dimensions, your pixels and your DPI. And this is at 300 DPI. Now, if you're like me and you want the 300 DPI because you sell PNG files on Etsy and you need them to be 5,000 by 5,000 pixels at 300 DPI because that's what your customers are looking for, the process is gonna be a little different. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with 1600 by 1600 pixels. So we're gonna get our square template, our artboard, but we're gonna do it at 1600 by 1600 instead of starting at 5000 by 5000 DPI. Now let's go ahead and throw some images on here and we're gonna go to share transparent background because I'm selling it as a PNG. Now, if I move the slider all the way over, it automatically makes it 5,000 by 5,000 pixels when I have started at 1600 by 1600. I'm gonna click download, save it to my folder. The reason that's perfect is because if you go and you start with a 5,000 by 5,000 canvas and you go to save it, make it all big again, go in, download, transparent background, and you move this all the way to the right, this 15 by 15,000 by 15,000 pixel PNG is gonna to be too big to upload to the back end of Etsy and you're not gonna be able to use it. So that's why if you start with 1600 by 1600, you're gonna get exactly what you need. Let's say you have a super detailed design and you went ahead and created it in the 1600 by 1600 and you exported it as the 5000 by 5000. So share, download, we slide it all the way to the right, we click transparent down, uh, background, but this is super detailed. So when you save it, even though it's the correct dimensions, Etsy is saying it's too big. Sometimes that can happen because in addition to having a pixel count and a DPI count, it's also gonna have a file size. And Etsy is going to max out at a certain file size. Sometimes your 5,000 by 5,000 will be too big. If that happens, I suggest you come back into it and you save it at 4,000 by 4,000, like as close as you can get to it. Transparent background download we'll do pigs five now you can go check the file um, and see what the what the dpi is properties and you can see we didn't get the 300 dpi because we didn't save it all the way to the right so my workaround for this is i'm just going to use a free third-party tool called clidio it's clidio.com forward slash dpi dash converter and I'm gonna bring the file into here, open, it's gonna upload, then you're gonna confirm you want 300 DPI, continue. Once it's done processing, you can click download here and save this new file. We're gonna call it pigs5 and then just 300 DPI PNG, save. And now when we go test this new file, we're gonna go back to properties, details. It has upscaled it to 300 DPI. Now you can upload it to Etsy and it should fit. Just make sure you change your listing your listing description to reflect the smaller pixel count. Now I know what you're thinking. Some of you are probably wondering, what if I'm not using a square? You're probably going to have to test it because I can't cover every single dimensions you might cover. But here's what I discovered. If you go to Canva Home and instead of doing the, the custom size, you use their pre-created sizes, they tend to create a better pixel count that isn't quite so enormous. So for example, I'm gonna to go to create, I'm gonna to go to for you and type in the search bar three to four ratio as if I was doing wall art. So here's an example here, or you might do like four to five, whatever the different dimensions are. So click here, you're gonna create the design in here. So we'll cut, we'll put, paste in our pigs again. Now share, download, and again, when I go all the way over, it's not gonna be a crazy amount of pixels and I'm gonna get that 300 DPI that I get when I go far to the right. 
So play with it. Let me know in the comments if you have any other tips and tricks about this. And if you want to go deeper into the world of selling digital files on Etsy, I have so many resources to help. I love using AI to help me create incredible images along with my own creativity. And I have a whole bunch of workshops that are just ready for you to learn how to make things like PNGs and all of the steps or coloring pages or SVGs or wall art or mock-ups. The world is your oyster. So check those out if they're of interest. And I also have a top rated podcast called How to Sell Your Stuff on Etsy that drops every Thursday on Apple, Spotify, and right here on YouTube. So I can't wait to see you there. Check out the channel for other design tutorials and things to help make your job easier. Thanks again, Tabitha. You've saved us all a lot of time and trouble. I hope this helps your workflow a ton. Thanks for hanging out with me.